Hello, everybody. It's Friday again, so it's time for our celebration assembly. These two weeks have gone so quickly, and we've now only got five school days until we break for Easter. So I hope you've had a really good uh, two weeks back, and we'll do our celebration assembly today, have the weekend, and then it's five days till we break for Easter. Just the one on this day today, the 19th of March. Uh, I've picked this because it's one of the world's most famous landmarks, and I'd love for you to be able to go there one day and see it for real. In 1932, the Sydney Harbour Bridge opened in Sydney, Australia. It is truly an amazing sight. I'm particularly pleased in this assembly because we have got our credit system up and running again and we've got some stars to give out. Now, of course, how we used to do it uh, in the old building in the assembly hall, we used to be able to have parents come in uh, to see stars being presented. Of course, in the situation we're in now, we can do it virtually and uh, we can give stars and prizes out in class. So I'm really pleased to have start this again and hopefully I'll have lots more credit sheets coming my way to get signed. So we'll start off with our bronze stars. Uh, so it's a bronze star and a falcon bookmark. And this is for nine credit. So these people are in the goldfinches, which is Lois N, Evie B, Kaylin B, Iris B, congratulations to you four on your bronze star. In the doves, we've got Eden, Zion, and Jacob A. Well done to you. In the swifts, Andrea, Jaden K, and Bella M. In the bittens, it's Summer J, and in the linnets, it's Faith. Well done to you all for getting your bronze star. For the silver star, it is 18 credits, and with that you get the school dictionary. So these people got the silver star, congratulations. Uh, Elena in the Bittens, Erin in the Goldfinches, we've got Emily P in the Doves. In the Swifts, we've got Callum C, Ruben I, and Olivia W. And in the Eagles, we've got Isabel T and Leo H. Well done on getting your silver stars. Next is Gold Stars with a Falcon Junior pen. This is for 27 credits. So in Canaries, we've got Ben P and Charlotte H. Well done. In the Doves, Jack A, Maisie and uh, William. Well done to you. In the Eagles, it's Ollie S. Uh, and in the Swifts, it's Daisy C. Congratulations to you all. And finally, for our stars today, this is for Platinum, uh, which is for 36 credits, which is an amazing achievement. Uh, and with this, you get this lovely falcon paperweight. So in the Eagles, it's Daisy T. And in Canaries, it's Seth D. Well done. For our falcon flies this week, we've been thinking about the falcon value of respect. And we'll start in the Kingfishers. Uh, Lucas T this week. Uh, always shows respect for everyone in the class. He listens carefully and tries hard at all times. Well done, Lucas. In the Wrens, it's William. William has settled in. He settled in really well and not forgotten the class of school rules. He treats everyone with the utmost respect, polite and a pleasure to have in the class. In the Puffins, it's Ashton P. Always kind and respectful to everyone. Well done, Ashton. And finally, for year three in the Jays, it's Bella C. Treats everyone with kindness and listens carefully no matter who is talking. Well done, year three. Now we go to year six next for our flyers. Um, and we'll start in the doves, Caroline S, always having respect for the children and adults around her, uh, incredibly polite and warm natured. Thank you, Caroline. In the canaries, Kaylin, always treats everyone with the same level of respect, is kind, uses polite manners, has got a great sense of humor as well. In the robins, Kusha, Always respectful to staff, visitors and classmates. A great class role model. And lastly, in the Eagles, it's Ryan CJ. He's always considerate and respectful to other people and to things. He listens to what others have to say and always speaks with kindness. Well done, Year 6 this week. Year 5 next for respect. Um, we will start off in the Firecrest. Jacob D. He's always polite, considerate and treats everyone re with respect. Well done, Jacob. Uh, in the goldfinches, it's Christian G. Uh, always treats everyone with respect. He's never judging and never criticising. In the swifts, it's Dalton. Well done, Dalton. Mature, respectful attitude to his work and the work of others. 
And finally, in the business is Arda. He's always respe respectful, polite to everyone uh, in the class, but also everyone in the school. Thank you, year five. Finally, we'll go to year four for our Falcon value of respect. In Hummingbirds, it's Violet. Violet is always polite and respectful. She's listened really carefully in class and worked really hard this week to achieve her goals. In Flamingos, it's Jessie, always behaving respectfully and considerately to adults and members of the class alike. In the Linnets, it's Jess G. Uh, Jess is always respectful to the staff and the other children in the class. And finally, in the Peacocks, it's uh, Louisa N. Always showing the utmost respect, not just for every member of the class, for every living thing, from an ant to a buttercup to a horse. She is a true credit. Thank you, Year 4. Lastly today, it's time for Happy Birthday. So on the 13th of March, Madison in the Flamingos, you were nine. On the 14th of March, uh, Hudson in the Linnets, you were nine as well. On the 15th of March, Amelia in the Swifts, you were ten. Caden in the Firecrest, you were ten. And Oscar in the Peacocks, you were nine. On the 17th of March, Madeline in the Doves, you uh, were eleven. On the 18th, Sam in Flamingos, you were nine, and George in the Goldfinches, you were ten. Uh, today, 19th, Goldfinches, Tallulah, you are ten, and Kanishk in the Wrens, you are eight. Happy birthday to all of you. And finally, on the staff, Miss Beckett, happy birthday on the 13th of March, and Miss O'Brien on the 15th of March. Happy birthday to both of you. So thank you, everyone, for a lovely week at Falcon. Have a lovely weekend. And as I said, next week is the final week for our Easter holidays. So have a good rest and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Bye, everybody.